Mabuhay, I am Mario G. Kunanan from BTBT Literacy, a Bachelor of Technical Vocational Teacher Education, major in Hotel and Restaurant Services, in Bataang Peninsula State University. Conduct Competency Assessment Establish the context and purpose of assessment. The assessor must familiarize self with the qualification or unit of competency to be assessed. Ensure that assessment site complies with the relevant occupational health and safety requirements. Ensure that assessment resources are available. The assessor must ensure that the tools, equipment, and facilities are ready and available in the assessment site before the assessment starts. A checklist of tools, equipment, and facilities must be on hand to help the assessor monitor the availability and completeness of the tools, and equipment, and facilities. Plan and prepare the evidence gathering process. The assessor shall receive assessment package composed of the following. Prepare the candidate. The assessor shall introduce himself. Good morning everyone. My name is Ariel Konanan and I am your competency assessor for FBS NC2. And I would like to acknowledge the presence of Ms. Harriet Meningula, our processing officer. Ms. Jamleg Pitan, our AC manager, and Mr. Jimmy Villanueva, our test the representative of test the provincial office. Thank you, sir, ma'am. You do not have to worry about their presence. They are here to oversee the conduct of assessment and to check if the conduct of assessment is in accordance with the prescribed competency assessment methodology and procedure. Before we start, please submit your admission slips. As I call your name, please acknowledge by raising your hand and sign the attendance sheet. Mr. Ben Bermanahan, please sign. Mr. Aris De La Cruz, please sign, please. Okay, thank you. Conduct orientation to the candidates. I would like to welcome all of you to our Center for your Assessment for FBS NC2. The purpose of assessment for FBS NC2 is to determine the level of your competency. Today, I am going to administer the competency assessment for FBS NC2. The qualification of FBS NC2 is composed of basic, common, and core competency. For core competency, we do have prepared the dining room restaurant area for service, welcome guests and take food and beverage order, promote food and beverage products, provide food and beverages, provide room service, and receive and handle guest concerns. To determine your knowledge and skill for FBS NC2, the assessment method we will use will be written test, demonstration, and oral questioning. This assessment method can help to measure your underpinning knowledge and skills. In case you have any question regarding the assessment result, you have the right to appeal. You can submit your appeal to the TESTA Provincial Office for the Assessment Center and the assessor are accredited. For the issuance of the National Certificate, the AC Manager shall inform you where you can claim your National Certificate within 5 working days after the assessment. After the assessment and found you are not competent to National Assessment, don't worry about it because you can be reassessed anytime. If you don't have any question or clarification, then I am going to distribute the specific instruction. Please read carefully and do not hesitate to ask questions right now.
So I will give you your assigned number. So everybody must be ready now, candidate number 1. You may please proceed to the assessment area and for the arrest candidate, please remain when I call your number. Thank you. This way, please. So candidate number 1, this is the assessment area. You are going to prepare the dining room area for service. Conduct assessment in accordance with the methodologies specified in the evidence plan and the specific instruction for competency assessor. Implement the evidence gathering process and ensure its validity, reliability, fairness, and flexibility. Observe the candidate and keep notes of the candidate's performance during the entire conduct of assessment. These notes will be used for the provision of feedback to the candidate's performance during the assessment. Collect appropriate evidence and match compatibility to the elements performance criteria, range of variables, and evidence guide in the relevant units of competency. Record and rating sheets detail of evidence collected and judgment made about the candidate's performance. The assessor must provide candidate about the outcome of the assessment process. Summarize the performance of the candidate during the whole assessment process. Inform the candidate on areas he needs to improve on. Discuss the specific tasks done well by the candidate. Provide information in claiming national certificate. Ensure rating sheets are signed by the candidate after providing feedback. Record and report the result. The assessor shall record the assessment outcome. Submit to the assessment center manager the assessment reports. The assessment center manager will give the documents to the processing officer to accomplish the registry of workers assessed and certified. The test representative will then deliver the documents to the designated test the office. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos.